guys, I forgot a very important detail for this part of the Great Hall. We gotta do something about it. We need some ice. Now you see, the problem with that is we don't exactly have a lot of ice left. There's some there to be sure, but we are definitely gonna need more ice than that before this project is over, before this build is over, and probably even before this small detail is over, let's be honest. Now, if we pop up over the mountain here, we have something that I have not exactly shown you guys yet. This is a giant flying machine based ice farm, if you couldn't tell. It's called the Ice Nautic, and it was my very first attempt to build any redstone project off of Lightmatica alone. That was a terrible idea. The first time I ran it, it got clogged up real fast, and these all ended up kind of stuck along here. And I had everything almost completely reset when I accidentally placed a block in the wrong spot and set everything off again. And this time, the catastrophe is even worse. In addition, each time things got set off, at least one flying machine took off in the wrong direction for no apparent reason, and it was a different machine or two each time. Anyways, I wanted this to be a public farm when I went about making it, and so if anybody watching this is on the server and is like really into redstone, you're welcome to have at it. I, on the other hand, I'm going to build a much simpler farm down here. It is remarkably difficult to find an ice farm that's not just a manual pool of water that refills itself, or is not one of these types of giant monstrosities. There are a number of giant monstrous flying machine based farms. This one's supposed to be 72K an hour. Um, there are some that are like 16k an hour, and maybe, eventually, I will give one of those a shot. Anyways, I found this one on Dusty Dude's channel. He credited it in some way to Pixel Rifts. I'm not sure if it was the idea or the design, and he just kind of like showcased and tutorialed for it. Um, either way, it seems like a pretty good design to like span the gap between those two kind of ice farm situations and is relatively simple and cheap to put together. So it's definitely worth a shot. It's modular. So if this one is like really successful, I will go ahead and probably add a couple more in there because let's be real, we need a lot of ice. I love how in both of these farms, this like, uh, this shape, this zigzag shape was kind of an integral part of each of them. Like when the flying machines are going, they're supposed to move in that kind of diamondy shape that you see these guys kind of stopped in a little bit. You know, I was going on about how I really like Crying Obsidian, and it's really a shame that there's like barely any use for it in the game. Uh, like here on Vervain's Arcadia, we have a plugin that lets us use it in portals, but like, Basically, you can make respawn anchors, and then what? You use it for immovable blocks forever and ever? Like, obviously, oh, obviously it's a good one for, like, decoration, too. But, there need to be more uses. Like, am I missing anything? Is there, is there something that does use crying obsidian other than respawn anchors? All right. So then the last thing, well, the last two things technically will be one, we'll put a lever there. And then we're gonna go ahead and place. That didn't work so well. Flying machines, you are the bane of my existence. Oh, I know what I missed. I didn't take this off. These off. Oops. Jeez. I am useless sometimes. Fine. There we go. That's more like it. 
Incredible. Well, that's fantastic. This works perfectly. And then, when we want to turn the farm off, we just flip that. Oh, jeez. Oh, that caused a slight, slight problem. Slight problemage. It's okay. We can fix this. Okay. Yeah. So if we want to turn it off, then we just flip the trapdoor up and it won't flip down when this thing comes back. But for now, we'll leave it going for just a little bit while we kind of clear the dirt away and clean this up. And nothing weird happened at that end? Excellent. Oh, something weird happened at this end. Did I? Didn't put the obsidian in. Oops. This thing took like an hour and a half to put up. This is amazing. I do not exaggerate when I say that I spent months on the monstrosity behind me. And this is so much cheaper and like, yeah, it, it's going to be a little bit more grindy and time consuming, but it still works quite well for what we need it to do. Well, I'm going to hang about, grind out some ice harvesting and probably set up a second module over there. Well, I kind of run this thing and gather ice. But yeah, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and get that done. And then we'll go work on our project. All right. Well, I have gathered several shulkers of ice. And you can see here we um, have two of these ice farms. And that seems to go at just a rate where I, I don't think I could run three farms at the same time. So two it is. And we also have a railing around the edge now because, well, I kept falling off. Anyways, I've already stashed the ice. So we have a few shulker boxes more of plain old ice that we can use. That's going to turn into packed ice and get us running out of that real fast. But at least we have something to start with. And I want to get building on the last bits of the great hall upstairs, but we need to do something real quick. One, look at uh, how I decided to display my arrows for the arrows chest. I love it. It's amazing. It, my favorite thing. It's just slime blocks and pistons and arrows with particles. We also have a little bunny tied up here for our miscellaneous, like, what, what did I call it? Miscellaneous ingredients and functional, I think. And then our, like, sherds and armor trims. I just, I, I love how these displays have come out. You know, we've got the live coral. Just so many good things. This, this one's the one that bugs me. But there's not exactly many things that you can do with mob drops. Anyways. Small but mighty mission to go gather some gilded black stone. And we're not going to necessarily go for like brand new bastions this time. We're just going to kind of pop into things along the way. Uh, grab gilded black stone, uh, loot chests, stuff like that. And since we're not going for like new bastions specifically... Let's pop ourselves down through our own nether. We'll, we'll work our way north still. Here's one. You know what we didn't bring? We didn't bring a respawn anchor. Dang it. Okay. Sorry, Amy. Flying in the nether. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Jeez. Hello. God damn it! I've been spotted. <laughs> damn I, it. I, I I very much have my dine map open because like uh, yeah, I was so Wait, lost. <laughs> ah. God damn it! Could you come over here for a second? Uh. Are you just? Ignoring the sounds, or you just you just got notebox turned off. I have notebox turned off because we were over at your place. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh my gosh, what did you do? Nothing. I still don't hear anything. 
Oh, there it is. Oh, it got returned to me. Where? Where is it? There it is. I found it. Jeez. Okay. Oh, I don't have my on me. Dang it. Uh, you stopped the circuit. Oh, oh man. You've seen you've seen the inside of the hall, and I also sent you detailing pictures. I've seen the back of it. Now you get to see it IRL, kind of. Wait, we were gonna plank. No, wait, 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 wait. You got the stuff for for the prank, right? Oh yeah, you're right. Paige, look away. That way, Pearl can also <laughs> enjoy the beauty of it. Let's dig it down here. This flat spot is. Okay. Perfect for it. Do you want uh, to come play some pearl? It's not the salmon. It's not the slapping. <laughs> oh yes, I agree. Can we gang off on her? Oh my god! Please no! I just broke the bed too. <laughs> Guys, let's go! Let's go gang up on brutes. Sib, 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 sib. Jeez, my my gold helmet was literally about to break, and I need this to traverse the Nether. Well, we're going into Bastion, so we're already gonna be aggravating them enough. So, girl, we're or, doing that right now. I I say we. That is that is that is what my plan is. You all are welcome to come with. The brutes will still go after you. Yeah, the, I know. The brutes are the one that's the issue. I know, but so it's, the, it's less the things just, after just... you. All right, I don't think I have a respawn anchor at the moment, so we got to make one. I survived a bastion in like full iron armor and on Imperia. <laughs> I should be fine. I just... On my own, by I the way. I just burrowed my way through because I went to a new one. I have Big Step now. I went to a new one and um and oh, yeah, that's the only thing I got out of it is I got area. Pig Step and only Pig Step. So <laughs> what I'm planning to do now is to go to like s some that are closer by maybe, um, but just grab their gilded blackstone and then um, check the chests throughout and I want to be less of a chicken. I don't want to mole my way through it. And with friends I'll be even less of a chicken. Oh, there's levers and Hello. stuff here. Oh, I shouldn't be allowed in here. Yeah, do not touch Hello. the redstone there. Please do not. Can I touch it? Nope. Because I do not want 200 withers flying out at me next time I use it. Ah! I'm fine. Go oh, down, right, back. Down, right, back. No, down, right, that doesn't back. work. Okay. There's a bastion right there. Where? Down, right, back. <laughs> yeah, this looks like a good spot. Okay. I don't think they can get up there. Yeah, I don't think so. How does this work? Excellent. I hate that sound. <laughs> Ah, I'm so Please scared. Please remind me that I'm not wearing an elytra. Oh god, there's a brute. So you're looking for gilded blackstone, right? Yeah. I got one. <laughs> I have one so far too. It's one of those things where like I want to have it. Just to, like have it stockpiled as a resource. Oh, you don't need it for anything? I it don't just, have okay, it for a specific are we even here? project. All right, we ready? Where did we go? What? what? We just keep going the same direction, northwest. Sure. Northwest. Okay, that's not possible. North, southwest. Cool. Southwest. This way. This way. Ooh, this is a cool tunnel. This is a cool tunnel. It's also terrifying, and the world is loading in for me. Oh, and. Yet another fortress and a bastion behind it. Oh my goodness, look oh, at the lava wait, pools in the bastion. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, pig step! 
And ancient debris and a bunch of gilded blackstone. This was a good chest and chest room. Thank you for taking care of the piglin pearl. All right. Oh, is that a magma spawner room? I haven't seen one of those. All right. What this way. way. Are we going? Whee! Okay. Amy is our navigator. Oh, there's one. Holy! Look at that pile of gold. How do you keep spotting them? <laughs> ah! Hello. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Oh, What's there's a snout. Job for me to do, but I'm doing it anyway. And soul speed. Bastion up ahead. Oh, there's a ton of gold in the walls. There's a gas mad at me, and I can't see it. Oh, oh and the zombie piglins sucks. are mad at me again as well. Oh, no. All right, well I'm just gonna sit inside of a wall for a minute. Valid. That's a valid response to anything. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna just... sit in a wall. Time to get down into this bastion. Oh man, this thing is huge! What the heck? Got 21 now. Hi, Pearl! I mean, this is the most I've pulled out of one bastion, so. I will say I'm getting braver. Did we set respawn anchor here even? I don't think we did. Oh, did we not? No, I don't think we did. Oh man. Jeez. We just don't care. That's a lot of gilded blackstone. You guys are great at this. I'm I I, I chose some good people to learn from. <laughs> oh my god. Mmm. <laughs> Never mind. I rescind my former statement. I would have been safer doing this alone. Oh, brute, 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 brute. Oh no! No worries. No worries. There he is. You got this, just kill him. Uh, yeah. Get there. Real quick. Ah! Ah! Do I really have to punch this guy to death? Ah! <laughs> You've got a oh, guys. On you too. <laughs> There you go. Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> oh. Extremely professional. <laughs> yes. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, Pearl almost killed me. <laughs> oh, oops. Gold, 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 gold. Okay, so weird question. Does anyone have an empty shulker? Yep, I got gotcha. I know I have a shulker shop, but I do not have an empty shulker. <laughs> Here you go. Um, All right, great. Now another weird question. Could you please break the lodestone? Or the, the spawn thingy? Oh, <laughs> I see where this is going. Amy is going to bed. I am going to bed indeed. Please stand back, everyone. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Guide you. I am currently taking out as many magma cubes as I can right now. <laughs> pearl, pearl, pearl. Spawners down. Spawners down. Get yourself out of there. There you go, nice. Oh no. Oh, that's coming at us right now. All right, I'm gonna go get that guy. All right. Oh, there's another bastion right across the way, across where the ghast was. There's another bastion. That's that's the most I've pulled out of a bastion yet. The most gilded blackstone. Um, 15. 
Yeah, this one did have a hall. And, like, I know your hall of gilded blackstone is much different than my hall of gilded blackstone. But I'm going to be proud of having 15. <laughs> because that's an improvement. Hi. Oh! There's one! What? Sorry, I bailed. Wah! Okay, it's all really low down. Oh, Lord. All right, we ready? Now we need to find our way back. That's the fun part. This might not be the guardian farm. Never mind. No, this... Might as well follow it. See if it takes us to another roof access. Up the andesite stairs. Ooh! <gasps> oh, this is so cool! I haven't seen this before. I love it. Oh my goodness. That's why there's a big old nether highway. <laughs> All right, so then we head off. Is this? No, that's, that's uh, gold is the way we want to go. And it's super easy from here. That's so good to know because I've gotten myself lost in the nether multiple times in that like 116 area and I had no idea like what, where to go, what to do. Thank you for coming along with me. That was really, really fun. And I'm going to add more chains to Amy's. <laughs> to Amy's. Well, we got some good loot out of that. Let me get snout. We get the netherite upgrade. I think those are all the ones from other dimensions, right? Now, here's the thing. This was a fantastic trip, and I had so much fun learning how to properly raid a bastion. Um, but it was also like three and a half hours worth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down a like long video, like 45 minutes or so, of the bastion raiding. And if you liked what you saw in the highlights for this video, go check it out. What do we do with the summoning circle, though? Like, it really makes it hard to get around in here, but also... It's lore now, so like, you know. That was so much fun, and it's always nice to feel more confident about things when I get to the end of doing them. Um, but, now... We have, we, we have to finish this great hall. It is imperative. I could explain what I'm going to do, but I think I'm going to let you see what happens as it happens. So let's get into a time lapse and I will see you on the other side. Alrighty, there we go. We've added that last little piece of the details for this haul, and now I think it is actually, actually done. I wasn't entirely sure about these ice spikes at first, but now having kind of, you know, sat on it for a couple of days, I think, I think they work really well. They kind of help contribute to the story, too, of like, oh, wow, something's up with the ice, and like, this is even taking over uh, this this place. 
We also pulled up bits of like the old blight into it as well, which I think helps. Anyways, I think it looks really gorgeous and it really adds to the characteristic and the story of what's going on in the end of this hall. I think it looks really good. If we peek at our boxes of ice, you can see that we actually didn't use too much of it, which is nice, but we've got a lot more that we'll need to use. <laughs> I think my plan is to put basically a collection of ice spikes and maybe some more spires covering this back area of the roof and then out in the back we're going to do a similar motif to what's in front not as big though but that's gonna take so much more ice well that is beyond what I have time for today but I think it is time for a new banner on the channel what do you think let me know what you thought of the build and I will see you in the next one. Bye.